Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm going to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Concrete Re Revolution, which is Chojin Genso. Or you could just call it Concrete Revolution. Sorry, I kind of like um said it in a weird way. Anyways, this episode here, which is on episode 7, I believe. This was a okay episode in a certain sense. You know, I was really, really confused of what the heck was going on, you know, until like um I had to look until I had to look this up and understand what kind of like um how they're doing or what the methods and procedure of each episode they've been doing, you know. And I'll explain that. I'll try to explain that along the way. But if you guys figured it out already, uh, um. I'm sorry for being slow and just had to find out right now because right now I was really really confused in this episode especially after the credits towards the end you know I'm thinking in my mind okay what the hell is going on here you know so if anything else let's go okay at the beginning of the episode it looks like one of our um characters like Kino Emi I think she's talking to some guy or whatever at a bar and later on like we have this robot or some kind of superhuman being flying to flying through the city and finds this person named Judas and we get to know a little backstory about this kid, like, um, he used to be in jail, and we get to find out that he worked with an evil organization one time and kind of caused a lot of trouble. But Earth-chan stopped him, made him wake up, and he decided to do some good. I'm like thinking in my mind, oh, that's pretty cool, you know? And, you know, we get to see what Earth-chan's, like, um, job has been doing throughout the time when she's on Earth. She's just, like, doing a lot of things like, to help other people out to see what's good for her or something. But, you know, we have to it that, um, Kiko gave her something to take, to maybe look at and maybe have a little dream about something. But when it came to, like, a certain theme about lies or something, the theme behind this episode was something about involving lies whatsoever, you know? And Kiko made, um, uh, tries to tell, like, um, Earth-chan, like, sometimes people need certain lies once in a while. And I think about mine, that I won't deny, but sometimes, like, it can, like, um, Hurt them later if you guys get the point. Yeah, you guys get the cue around here and there. But eventually, as time continues on with its procedures, I think something involving a protest whatsoever that involves maybe some kind of organization, which I'm not too fond of or I didn't even care much about because right now, like, um, I was just only focused on this character, Earth Chan. Well, of course, Judas wants to be part of some kind of protest and promises not to use his power. And I'm thinking about mine. What's with you trying to make a promise right now that you that you're so certain of? He broke that promise, but he has to say but he wanted to save someone, you know? And Earthchan was pretty angry about this at first, but Kiko stopped Earthchan from doing from doing any harm to Judas, you know? That's the person with electricity. Of course, Judas had to use that power to save someone who's being crushed under the bus, apparently, so Earthchan decides to let him go and brings the man to the hospital. And you know, we have to it that um Kiko did manage to have a little fight with Earthchan when she was about to do something, but she ends up putting something in Earthchan's body that made her dream about something, you know, and so forth. And therefore, Kiko and Earthchan have a little small talk before the credits and says, sometimes, you know, pe humans need certain lives once in a while. I'm thinking about mine, eh, whatever. Then after the credits, it goes into the future where I believe Earthchan is like um, contained, sealed up, and then the future Jiro or something says like, Hey, you sure you want to do this, Judas? And he goes like, yes. I'm going to restore you, Earth-chan. And that's it. So, after this episode, you know, I was really confused of what was going on here until I decided to, like, um, work a little bit, do some research on how, it, how it, this was done. So, pretty much, it's like, um, playing the past and later on plays the future later after the credits or towards the end, you know, which is to my confusion or something. Though, I'm not really sure how it is done correctly. Some of the episodes were kind of complicated for me. That's why I had to look it up and understand it, you know. So, um, yeah, it took me a while to even understand that because I was really confused and I think in my mind, what the hell is going on here? So, yeah. It's pretty much like playing, like, um, a backstory back into the past and then, like, it shows the future later. But they have a certain ways certain way of proceeding that kind of method which was complicating for me so i'm just gonna leave it at that people until then i'll see you guys in my next video so i'm off have a good day and i'll see you guys next time peace out bye bye